Hey guys, today I'm going to show you seven hottest questions and answers about iOS 14 so as to help you know more about iOS 14 and decide whether if you should install iOS 14 beta now. If you want to jump on any part of this video, you can check on the time codes below or in the scrubber bar in the video. Let's get started. Number one, when will iOS 14 officially release? During the WWDC 2020 in June, Apple has not mentioned the specific time when they officially release iOS 14, only said it would be released later in 2020. Since from iOS 9 to iOS 13, all has been released in September, you should be able to see iOS 14's official release also in September this year. Number 2. Will my device support iOS 14? Here is the device list that shows the devices compatible with iOS 14 from iPhone SE to the latest iPhone 11. A lot of people ask if their iPhone 6S, 6S Plus, and SE can upgrade to iOS 14. Well, the answer is surely yes. Number 3. What will change to my MDM locked iPhone update in iOS 14? For those who want to know MDM update in iOS 14, the main changes in MDM for iOS 14 are as follows. MDM can be quite annoying and if you want to remove MDM on your Apple device, you can try iMyPhone Lock Wiper, which helps you remove MDM fast and easy. And it takes less than 30 seconds for the removal process. It can also support up to iOS 14. Number 4. How has iOS 14 improved device privacy? iOS 14 has also made a great progress in privacy improvements, including mic and camera privacy, location privacy, tracking permissions for advertising, Safari privacy, and so on. The guaranteed privacy that iOS can provide has been one of the most important reasons people prefer iOS than Android, and the iOS 14 privacy improvements have been highly praised by a lot of Apple users who value device privacy a lot. Number 5. What will happen to Siri in iOS 14? You can see in iOS 14 there is no more full screen takeover. Make me laugh. When you invoke Siri in iOS 14, you'll see just a colorful orb at the bottom of your screen. Besides, there are more and better answers. Siri does now give you more answers beyond the facts it knows. Siri's ability to use web-based information to give you a web-based answer has gotten much better. Please translate Make Me Laugh into Japanese. And it supports more pairs of translation languages, up to 65 pairs. Number 6. How will iOS 14 affect device battery? A lot of people have said that when they upgrade to iOS 14, they notice the battery drains pretty fast. A YouTuber, iAppleBytes, who is dedicated to all kinds of iPhone iOS testing, also made a video to test the battery of iOS 14, from which you can see that it is not true that iOS 14 has worse performance than iOS 13. But you can see from the test that iOS 14 Beta 4 does not perform well. One thing should be noticed is that beta versions are known for bad battery, but this test can provide a high level of confidence in a device's battery performance. Number 7. How to downgrade to iOS 13 from iOS 14. If you find iOS 14 is not what you expected after you tried it, you can take a step back, uninstall iOS 14, and downgrade to iOS 13. First, connect your Apple device to your computer. Then put your iPhone or iPad into recovery mode. Your iTunes on your computer will prompt you to restore or update your iOS device. Click the restore option. Then your iPhone or iPad will now be erased and the latest version of iOS 13 will be installed. Be sure to back up before you start the downgrade. However, this method takes a long time to finish the process. If you want to downgrade without iTunes, you can click on this video to see how to downgrade in a faster and easier way. That's all for this video. If you find it helpful, please give us a big thumbs up or leave a comment below if you want to know something else about iOS 14. Subscribe to our channel and you will get more iDevice solutions easily. I'll see you next time.